The moment these talks first collapse, as opposition representatives stormed out, angry that members of Blaise Compaore's party had been invited. They want us to sit on the table with them. We cannot do that. Understand us. We cannot accept that. People who died during the protest are still in the mortuary. We have not buried them. Around 300 others were injured. And these criminals come here to sit on the same table with us? We cannot allow that. But the presidents of Nigeria, Senegal and Ghana had come here to defuse the crisis. And they weren't prepared to live empty-handed. As much as we feel hurt, we cannot achieve a unilateral outcome if it doesn't embrace all members of Burkina society. And so please, as chairman of ECOWAS, I enjoin you that you drop your personal pain and hurt and embrace each other as brothers and sisters in order that whatever decisions that we take in respect of Burkina Faso's transition and the eventual elections that will install a substantive president and a new assembly will be done on a sustainable basis without excluding anybody. Mahama's plea seems to have got through. The rivals have agreed to reinstate the constitution and that elections will be held next November as originally planned. A so-called eminent personality will head a transitional government. But one key issue was not resolved. Many here had expected that the talks would give a clear time frame on when exactly the transition to civilian rule would take place. But it seems they may have to wait much longer before that happens. I expect that in days rather than weeks, we'll be able to agree on a transitional arrangement so that we can install an administration that will take charge of the reins of this government uh, of, of Burkina Faso and steer the nation forward. The African Union has given the military two weeks to hand over power or face sanctions. Kofamrenje, CCTV, Ouagadougou, Burkina Faso.